This is the Washington Times front page for Thursday, December 22nd, 2022. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. America will back Ukraine with military and financial aid until Russia's invasion ends in failure, President Biden told Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky during their historic appearance together at the White House. The meeting, Ben Wolfgang and Jeff Mordock report, marks Zelensky's first trip outside of Ukraine since the war began on February 24th. It offered the two men the chance for a rare face-to-face conversation, and Zelensky perhaps his largest ever platform to project his trademark confidence and defiance toward Russia. Zelensky expressed deep gratitude for U.S. military and financial aid, including a fresh package announced Wednesday that includes the long-awaited delivery of an American Patriot missile system. The Patriot, Mike Glenn reports, is the Army's most advanced air defense system, capable of knocking out both high-performance aircraft and tactical ballistic missiles. It's also something the Ukrainian government has long coveted as a shield against enemy missiles and a sign of enduring commitment from the U.S. government. The Pentagon said the air defense system bound for Ukraine will come from Army stockpiles. The transfer has already sparked fury in Russia, where Kremlin officials have denounced the steadily expanding pipeline of weapons flowing from the U.S. and NATO allies to Ukraine. A recent survey by the Harvard Center for American Political Studies and Harris Insights and Analytics found that 71% of Republicans, 65% of Democrats, and 68% of Independents think Congress and the FBI should thoroughly investigate potential First Amendment violations by Twitter. Joseph Clark reports the poll found that 74% of voters think Twitter employees should be criminally prosecuted if they were found to be working with federal officials to suppress content in violation of people's First Amendment rights. A majority of voters, 64%, also think Twitter engaged in political censorship during the 2020 election. The disclosures of internal communications at Twitter revealed the close coordination between social media companies and federal officials to moderate content, including requests by the FBI to censor individual posts and ban certain users. You can read all of these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. You can also find the entire lineup of Washington Times podcasts at WashingtonTimes.com slash podcasts. RNC Chair Ronna McDaniel is not taking responsibility for the string of disappointing elections for the GOP on her watch. Carrie Pickett reports McDaniel says the midterm results would have been worse without her, and she also stopped short of blaming former President Trump, as some in the party have, for championing bad candidates who lost in the most pivotal races. McDaniel has weathered criticism for Republican losses at the polls in 2018 and 2020 and the failure to summon a falsely predicted red wave in this year's midterm elections. Nevertheless, her support remains strong in some GOP circles as she tries to win a fourth term as RNC chair next month. And finally, a concert venue in the suburbs of St. Louis has barred children from attending an all-ages Christmas drag show. Sean Salai reports the factory in Chesterfield announced hours before the performance that no ticket holders under the age of 18 would be allowed to attend. The production is touring 18 states, with performers from the reality television show RuPaul's Drag Race. The cancellation comes amid a growing backlash against the production and other family-friendly drag shows, which critics argue sexualize young children. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app, and find us wherever you get your podcasts to search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at Watch Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.